In today's video, I'm bringing you my Weevil Underwood 40 card deck profile. Coming up. What's up there and welcome to a brand new video on 414 YGA. In today's video I'm bringing you my Weevil Underwood 40 card deck profile. It's been a while since I've done a deck profile so uh, bear with me if I'm a bit rusty to this but I'm really excited to get back into showing, uh, showcasing these decks, showing you how I've built them, their strength, weaknesses and whatnot. And hey, if you're new here, why not join the 414 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future deck profiles. So Weevil's a cool cool like character. His his decks uh, was obviously like an insect deck. Uh, there's a lot of cool cards in here and uh, unfortunately in the tournament he didn't last long enough to see the full potential of the deck um, but I'll more than likely be bringing some more duels featuring Weevil on here because he's an absolute classic character from the show. So let's just jump straight into the deck profile then. So obviously as you can see on top we have I run a one basic insect in them. Obviously it's two star monster, 500 attack, 700 defense. It's pretty pretty useless, but it's a Weevil deck, so I thought, you know what, I have to include this guy in here, because of course he does have some spell cards in here that can boost this guy's attack. Next up, I run two copies of Flying Kamukiri number two. So it's got 1,500 uh, attack and 800 defense. In character deck duels, sometimes this kind of monster, like when an attack like that, if you can get it out early on, can, you know, give you a bit of a, a, an early advantage. So that... Like I said, with basic insects, there are cards in here that can power these insects up. So, um, you know, this guy can become uh, pretty, pretty big if we want him to. Uh, just like I ran two Flying Kamakuri number two, I also run two Gokubo, a classic Weevil card here. So it's a four-star monster again, 1,200 attack, 1,400 defense. Not much really to say about this one, just more insects to his arsenal. Next up, I've run a copy of Hercules Beetle. And one thing I did forget to mention here is this deck is basically built uh, around like every arc that Weevil was involved in. So it's gonna have cards from like Dollar's Kingdom all the way through. When was he last in? I think he was in like, I know he was definitely in Waking the Dragons. Um, then he went through to the Grand Championship as well. So um, it will have different cards and whatnot. So Hercules Beetle anyway, it's a yeah, five star monster, 1,500 attack, 2,000 defense. Not the greatest monster in there, but you know, you may be able to find some use for it. I've got it in there anyway. Um, just for classic nostalgia really. The last vanilla monster in the deck that I run is one killer needle. So this was a classic Doorless Kingdom card. Uh, once again, really weak in terms of attack and defense with 1,200 uh, being its attack, 1,000 being its defense. Uh, but like I've said with every other insect monster in here, there are, there are some cards in here that can, that can boost uh, their strength. So use that uh, to your strength. <laughs> okay, onto the effects monsters now. I run two copies of the classic Cocoon of Evolution. Um, so yeah, zero attack, 2,000 defense, but the effect is uh, you may treat this card as an equipped magic card on a face-up Petite Moth on the field. When equipped, the attack and defense of Petite Moth becomes the same as Cocoon of Evolution. Of course, we need this in able to get our, um, our great moth out. Uh, it also says uh, equipped it to a Petite Moth. Weevil didn't use Petite Moth in the show. He used uh, Lava Moth instead. So uh, in, 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 in order to keep the deck as accurate to the, the anime in the show as possible, um, Petite Moth has been replaced with Lava Moth, so bear that in mind. Then I have a copy of Flying Kamakiri number one. So it's a four star monster, 1,400 attack, 900 defense. Uh, when the card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one wind monster with 1,500 or less attack um, from your deck in face of position. So, you know, he's got a couple in here, so it could come in handy. I mean, you, you'll probably end up grabbing like a flying Kamakuri number uh, number two or something like that. But, you, you know, it's got its uses. Next up, Weevil's classic, you know, especially from like Battle City and everything, his Insect Queen, which she eventually does lose to Joe Wheeler. Spoiler alert. It's a seven star monster with 2,200 attack, 2,400 defense. Um, the card cannot declare an attack unless you tribute one monster. This card gains 200 attack for each insect type monster on the field. During the end phase, if this card... Uh, destroyed an opponent's monster by battle this turn. You can special summon one insect monster token uh, in attack position. So obviously it's going to boost this guy's attack whenever it destroys a monster. So it's really cool and obviously a really, really um, classic Weevil card in here. So it has to be in the deck. We have Insect Soldiers of the Sky. So once again, another weak insect with 1,000 attack, 800 defense. But you know, it, it does have the effect of this attack. Of the, it, it, its attack will be increased by 1,000 points whenever it attacks a wind monster. So you, you know, 
situational at its very best. Next up I run two Kizatai. So this guy is really cool actually. So two star monster, 300 attack, 800 defense. Uh, when your opponent's monster attacks this card in face down defense position, the attacking monster is equipped with this card and then damage calculations are canceled. Treat this card as an equipped spell card. During each of your opponent's standby phases, increase your life points by half the attack of the monster equipped with this card. So that can be really cool. And a kind of classic, kind of like Weevil, Weevil sneaky move, so to speak. So uh, I, I run two in there to keep the deck as accurate to kind of weevil strategies as possible. Uh, then I run the two Lava Moth. So obviously this is in here basically for the Cocoon of Evolution. Obviously Weevil used Lava Moth instead of Petite Moth. So to keep, like I said, to keeping it as accurate to the show as possible, um, I've got this guy in here instead of the Petite Moth. Then I run two Legool. This guy is basically uh, just going to be attacking your, your opponent's life points directly. Um, though it only has 300 attack and 350 defense. So it's kind of one of those things, um, I, I, I guess, if you can pull off Weevil's luck, which we'll get to in you know just a just a bit further into the video. Um, obviously, with such a weak attack, you know you can just make little bites at your opponent's life points. But I think combined with the luck, this card could be quite uh, frustrating, especially if uh, it's uh, later on in the game. Parasite, Parasite. So obviously he used this in Battle City against Joey. Uh, it's a five, uh, two star, it's not five star, it's a two star monster with 500 attack, 300 defense. Um, it's effective flip. Put this card face up in your opponent's deck and shuffle it. When your opponent draws this card, it is special summon to their side of the field in face up defense position and inflicts 1000 damage to them. Uh, then while this card is faced upon the field, all monsters your opponent controls become insect type monsters. So it's another way of getting Weevil's classic luck um, into play. Which is uh, which is awesome. Obviously, use this against Joey. The only downside to this is obviously we use uh, we use sleeves. <laughs> you know, I, I kind of color them uh, according to the character. So when it's in, <laughs> whenever this is kind of put into the deck, you kind of know when it's coming, so you can kind of prepare. Then we've gone for perfectly ultimate great moth. Uh, I decided just to go with one of the great moths in here, and I thought, you know, let's go for the perfectly ultimate one. It's gonna be harder to pull off, but you know, if, if you were to pull it off, it'd be amazing. Um, I need to play the deck a bit more if I do find this guy's kind of like a bit too hard out there, and, and like normal great moths are a lot easier. I might swap them around. Um, but yes, it's got 3,500 attack, 3,000 defense. Uh, the moths can only be special summoned by offering uh, petite moth or lava moth in our case as a tribute on your sixth uh, on the sixth of your turns after it had been equipped with cocoon of evolution so you know per, like great moth may be easy to get out but it, obviously this guy's are like a lot a lot beefier so uh, I'll, I'll experiment with this if I do change it I will update the profile I'll let you know I also run two pinch hopper so four star monster 1000 attack 1200 defense its effect is when this card on your side of the field is sent to the graveyard you can special summon one insect type monster from your hand so you know it, 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 it can work um it's basically just more more insects in weevil's deck uh, final monsters then i run two school mark ladybird School Mark Ladybug is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so, uh, four star monster, 500 attack, 1500 defense, which is not bad for character deck kind of stats, meaning in terms of attack, not great. Defense is probably a little better. You might be able to hold off against certain things. Its effect is when this card is sent to the graveyard, increase your life points by 1000 points. That's where this guy really shines. So, set it face down. Um, obviously, if it can withstand uh, some attacks and build you some, uh, buy some time, awesome. If not, you're going to get a thousand life points out of it. So, Awesome. He doesn't really use many spell and trap cards, so there's a lot of duplicates in here. Starting obviously with uh, this one. So I run three copies of a red eradicating aerosol, and there's an errata on this one. The normal effect is destroy all face up insect type monsters on the field, which is not going to work really. <laughs> you know, it's not going to work for a weevil deck at all. And um, so we use it how the anime use it, where he can destroy one face up insect monster on the field. So he'll, he'll have a, he'll have control over that. Um, this is going to work very well with his luck, which we'll get to in just a second. Uh, otherwise, you'll be thinking, well, you know, what's what's <laughs> what's the possibilities of you facing another duelist that uses insects? We will get to that. Uh, these next two cards are like probably one of my favorites in here. I, I love the artwork on them. Uh, it's insect armor with laser cannons. So we have a lot of weak insect monsters in this deck. So if you can draw one of these early on as well, you're going to be laughing. Um, I was saying you're going to be laughing. Uh, it equips only to an insect type monster. It gains 700 attack. I mean, 
in some cases that's going to make a massive difference in some cases it's really not going to make a difference uh, depends what character deck you're up against and I guess uh, depends what monsters you're up against but this guy uh, is definitely going to beef up some of those uh, some mighty insects <laughs> okay so on to Weevil's luck then I run three insect barrier okay so what this does is your opponent cannot declare an attack with any insect type monsters on his or her side of the field so obviously Weevil's main strategy um, I think it was in Battle City against Joey um, was that he combined this with DNA surgery and he turned all of Joey's monsters into insects. Um, so by putting this on the field, it meant that Joey couldn't attack him directly at all and he had to find a way around the lock. Uh, this combo works exactly the same as that and I'm trying to remember desperately off the top of my head, but there is a card in here that also turns your opponent's monster into insects. There we go, so it's Parasite, Parasite as well. So you've got that and DNA Surgery in combo with Insect Barrier. Uh, another combo that you've got is obviously uh, with the DNA Surgery, uh, talking about the cards that we were just looking at, which is Eradicating Aerosol. So if you can turn your opponent's monsters into insects and then start taking them down like that, um, it can really overturn some powerful monsters in your opponent's deck, uh, especially if their boss monster's out and you're just... <laughs> kind of shutting everything down. So I run three of those because that's really like Weevil's only like kind of defense. Uh, next up, he, he may or may not have played this, but I, I imagine every character would. Uh, Monster Reborn, don't really need to say much about it. Obviously you're gonna bring a uh, monster back from the grave, whether it be one of your own or one of your opponents can be really, really handy. Uh, next up, I run three multiplication of ants. So you can tribute one insect type monster on your side of the field. Special summon two army ant tokens, which are insects, uh, they're level four, earth attribute, 500 attack, uh, 1,200 defense. On your side of the field, the tokens cannot be used as a tribute for a tribute summon. So it's basically just a way of kind of building up a defense so you can buy yourself a bit of time um, before going in for a more powerful strategy, be it with Insect Queen, be it with buying time for the perfectly ultimate Great Moth. Um, this card's basically more defense for Weevil. The final spell card then, exactly the same as Monster Reborn. I, I can't remember if we see him play it or not, but I imagine it will be in the deck. Uh, part of Greed, what does this card do, right? <laughs> Onto the traps then, and uh, he only has one trap, so I've run three of it. Obviously I talked about it earlier, so it's DNA Surgery. Uh, and this is part of Weevil's luck. Uh, as they as they say um, so basically you select one type of monster as long as this card remains on the field all face up monster cards will be treated as the type you selected so you're obviously going to turn everything into insects this can be extremely annoying to play against because uh, quite a few of the character decks don't actually have any spell or trap removals so as soon as this guy's kind of flipped over you're pretty pretty screwed especially if they've got insect barrier out as well you're really gonna have to struggle to find a, another strategy to win so this is where weevil's deck shines once he gets that lock out i mean obviously if you're playing characters like yugi who does have quite a lot of spell and trap removal you've just got to hope he doesn't have it <laughs> um but yeah really cool overall awesome when you it, i mean it, it can slow the duel down but you know sometimes with with a deck like weevil's you, you you're gonna need that but there we go guys, that was my Weevil Underwood 40 card deck profile. And one thing I did forget to mention was I'm trying to make all my character decks uh, at 40 cards. Uh, previously what I'd do is I'd make them, I'd just put in like every card they used in the show. And this would make some decks really cloggy in the terms of you'd just be pulling cards that just really aren't useful. And uh, you'd struggle to get to some of the more classic plays. Uh, what I found in the tournament is that this worked really well. You know, a lot of characters were getting kind of like better combos off, there was more kind of back and forth moves. I mean, some duels obviously was a bit more one-sided than the other when someone was <laughs> pulling back cards, but I think that's just the game in general. Uh, but that was my Weevil Underwoods um, 40 card deck profile. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget if you want more character deck profiles, character deck duels, Yu-Gi-Oh! fact videos and more, hit the subscribe button right now. Um, if you found value in today's video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video with a friend, and of course, leave me a comment in the section below. Let me know what you thought of this deck profile, or if there's anything you'd add, swap, or remove. I'm also hanging around on social media as well. I'm trying to be a bit more kind of like uh, vocal on that front, so uh, why not connect with me over there? Uh, but that is it for me, guys. I will see you in the next video. Take care.